Hello everybody, so here's a comparison that people have been asking me about and that is the difference between the Core Essentials Gun Belt or the Next Belt Ultimate Carry Belt. So let's get some housekeeping out of the way first. What is my relationship with each company? Core sent me a belt a couple years ago, I think now, year and a half ago. I wore it for a very long time. Um, I actually cut it a little short, so I have ended up buying a new belt uh, for it, but I still have the same buckle. Um, but <clears throat> I have given a core belt away. I bought one from them. I have also uh, told many people, and when they've asked me, I have suggested it to, to many people. I do not suggest things all that often because then my reputation is on the line, but it is a belt that I have suggested many times. Next belt, you guys saw the review for this not too long ago. I think it was a review or two ago. Um, I wore it for a month and a half or something like that, two months. I still wear it if I want a black belt, and uh, but I have never received anything from Next Belt. Either belt, I'm gonna tell you, if you own either belt, you don't have a bad belt. So while I prefer one over the other, I wear them both still. If I want a brown belt, I wear this one. If I want a black belt, I wear this one. So now let's get to the comparisons. Now before we hop down to the table, uh, uh, an overview real quick. They both have metal buckles. They both have some sort of a uh, coat, uh, would appear to be a baked on coat or powder coat or something like that on the buckles. They are both a nylon outside. The core belt is a leather inside while the next belt is a nylon inside. They are both the ratcheting type belt. And they both go from extremely small to extremely large. I can't remember the exact diameters, but um, you almost can't find a person that fit doesn't fit either one. Uh, again, they are both uh, uh, they are both considered to be gun belts. They both have some sort of a polymer or some sort of an insert in them to make them stiffer. And um, this one has a purely mechanical lever the core belt and this one i has a little bit different lever and i'm not sure exactly how it works but it's a smaller but still nonetheless a little lever system which you'll see uh when you get down closer to the table now that is the comparisons the just bulk comparisons of the two without any nuance without any little fine to without any fine details they're both they're both nylon they're both ratchet belts one has a leather insert or inside the other has a nylon um and they both have metal buckles. So let's get down to the table and look at them a little bit more closely. So let's first look at the buckle design. Here is the core essentials belt. It is again a metal buckle and it has this lever right here that it releases everything with a spring-loaded mechanical uh, lever system there just like that has a, a coating on it and it appears to be somewhat baked on um, and it is really heavy duty I have a couple scuffs here this I've been wearing this belt for a, you know this buckle for well over a year and that's all the wear and damage it has done to it now if you compare that to the next belt next belt being a not too dissimilar buckle it is metal the coatings a little bit rougher and here is your lever right here Let's see if I can get this oh there it is so here's your lever right here when you oh, there so this lever is in my opinion harder to hit harder to hit than the core some people may like it and that's fine again if you have this belt over this belt you don't have a bad belt but just my opinion that that is a far harder lever to hit now as far as quality of coating i've been wearing this for far less time and there's big chunks of paint missing off of it um, i don't know what to say about that now you can see the system here is a little bit different than that of the core belt but they both 
work just fine. You can hear the ratchet, clicks in just fine, and the ratchet here clicks in just fine. Now you will see in a, in a minute why it seemed like it skipped over teeth there. Because this thing is so freaking stiff that if I try to twist it, it almost uh, it almost slides freely. Um, but you'll see that in a minute. Now, quality of nylon. I think um, the build quality of the core belt is more substantial than the next belt. Uh, again, the core belt has a leather inside. The next belt has a uh, nylon inside the next belt seems to be fraying a little whereas the edge of the core belt is holding strong and the feel so this is a much smoother feel than what this is you can hear that that is rough sounds like a file and I told you before in the in the next belt video that this is rough, a rough enough edge that if it got on my skin and I did a lot of moving and twisting around it almost felt like a saw blade so that is another point in my opinion for the core belt having a, a nicer uh, nylon finish now they both have four rows of stitching this has one two three four this has four rows of stitching uh, the stitch pattern I cannot say because I have not counted it but the stitch pattern seems to be a higher stitch count with the core belt than with the next belt. So I said I thought that the core belt, the core belt was a more substantial belt than the next belt, and I'll show you. So here's the next belt, the inside of it. If I turn it inside out, as you can see, it gets a little droopy, right? It gets a little droopy. Where if I do that same thing, with the core belt and I turn it inside out it tends to be a bit springier have a comparison side by side it tends to be a bit springier a little bit more substantial it's just a little it's a little thicker I believe now one place that I have found that the next belt outshines the core belt is the length of adjustment so as you can see here if I line up the bottoms, which I'm trying to do right now, the length of adjustment, the next belt has about two inches. The next belt has about two inches on the core belt as far as the amount of adjustment it has, um, you know, from its tightest point to its loosest point. So let's see some of that stiffness again here. So if I, if I turn this belt, like this, you know, and I, I have it opened, and I let go, it just sort of, sort of sags there. If I do the same thing with this belt, it will drop, but if you notice, it just seems to be springier. This is kind of wet noodle-ish. This, not so much. And we're going to show this by hooking a gun to it. So, core belt, loaded G43, okay? So it is straight up and down, and I'm a few inches off the off of that. Yeah, it's really there. I'm going, you know, four to six inches away from the clip where it starts bowing in. If I go any farther, it's really sagging, right? That's a pretty long way. If I do the same. With the next belt, I get right up on it. I'm already sagging to the point where I had four to six inches away, and it does not take very far for this thing to lay almost flat. So the core belt is definitely, definitely, and provably. I've had people tell me that it's know that the next belt is just as stiff as a core belt. It, as a matter of fact, it is not. So, core belt versus next belt. Um, for me, the core belt I find to be uh, 
across the board, with the exception of length of adjustment, across the board, a far superior belt to the next belt uh, in every fashion, in the build quality, in the rigidity, in the coating of the buckle, and this is personal to me, but the style of latch. Some people may like that more minimalist latch. That's a personal thing. Again, if you own either belt, you have a good belt. I do still wear this belt. If I want to wear a black belt, I'm wearing this. In fact, no, I wore this belt today. Um, I, I could, that's how often I interchange them now. Uh, ever since I got done with the review of this, I interchange these so often, depending on what I'm wearing that day, that I couldn't remember which belt I was wearing today. So, I find the core belt to be far more substantial than the next belt. Now we got to talk about price. How much more is the core belt than the next belt? Well, depending sales aside and things like that, the core belt is five to ten dollars, maybe fifteen dollars, depending on where you're getting it from. But it is a little bit more money than what the next belt is, um, and I think you're I think you're getting that out of it. I think you are getting that ten five to fifteen dollars more out of the core belt than you are the next belt. So when I said in my, ne in my next belt review, when it said the ultimate carry belt, and I said it almost lives up to that name, I meant it, it almost lives up to that name. But I think core does a better job at it. So that's all I got for you. Again, if you own either belt, I wouldn't be worried about it. Uh, but if you think that this is a little flimsy, you know, if you bought this and went, I would like it a little stiffer, I would definitely suggest you check out Core Essentials gun belt, uh, nylon gun belt. I don't know about their leather belts. I've never owned one of their leather belts, so this does not pertain to that. It pertains to this belt and pertains to this buckle, um, and that's it. So thanks for listening. I'll put a link to both bu both belts down below. It'll be the first link you find in the description, and I'll put them as a pinned comment. Uh, don't forget to check out Patreon. If you want to support the channel, that would be awesome and greatly appreciated. Uh, Otherwise, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, share this on to people and groups and things like that that you think might need this information. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later.